Hi. Now here we have another question on moments. And uh, if you haven't done this already and would like to uh, just give it a try, just pause the video, come back when ready, and uh, you can check your work solution with mine. In the meantime though, what we've got here then is a steel girder AB of mass 200 kilograms and length 12 meters. And it rests horizontally in equilibrium on two smooth supports, C and at X, where AC is two meters and the distance X to B is X meters. And we've got a man here of mass 80 kilograms stands on the girder at the point P, where A to P is four meters. Now if we model the man as a particle and the girder is modeled as a uniform rod, then given that the magnitudes of the reactions at the two supports are now equal and that the girder again rests horizontally in equilibrium, what we've got to do is find the magnitude of the reaction at the support X here and also to get this value of X. Well, we need to put on a set of forces now onto our diagram. So what we've got then is, first of all, the reactions from the two supports. So we'll call this reaction, we'll just put it up through here, okay? We'll call that R, R Newtons. And because the reaction at this point, or support X, is exactly the same as this one, we can just call that R, R Newtons, okay? We've got the weight of the man. The man has a mass of 80 kilograms, so its weight is going to act vertically downwards, and that's going to be 80 g. g being the acceleration due to gravity, which I'm going to take as 9.8 throughout this problem. We've also got the weight of the girder. It's assumed to be uniform. It's got a mass of 200 kilograms so therefore it's going to act in the middle here and so we'll just put its weight in that's going to be 200 g newtons okay so that's all the forces acting on the girder and if we're going to try and find out what the reaction is at these supports what we do is we first of all resolve okay we resolve say in an upward direction. So if we just come down over here, if we resolve in the upward sense, you can take the downward sense as being positive, that's up to you, but I'm taking the upward sense as positive purely because it means that these two forces here are going to stay positive. So if I resolve upwards, we've got this R and this R, that's 2R, and then these two forces the weight of the man and the weight of the girder, that's 280 g if we add them together. They act in the opposite direction to what I've assigned as positive. So that's going to be minus 280 g. And that's going to equal zero because the girder is in equilibrium. There's no resultant force, okay? So we've got this equation, all we need to do is rearrange it for R. If we add 280 G to both sides, that will give us 2R equals 280 G, and divide by 2, then R would equal 140 G. And if we take G as 9.8, then you end up with R equaling 1372, and that would be measured in Newtons, okay? So uh, there's our reaction at C or at X. They're both exactly the same. Right, now for the next part, okay, we've got to find out this value of X up here, this distance from B to this support here. Now this is going to require taking moments, and you could take moments about any point that you like on this girder. And I'm certainly experiment uh, with doing that. You should find that you get exactly the same result for X as I'm going to show you. But 
the best place I feel that you could take moments about is the point B for this question. It would just give us nice answers with X in. Okay? The working would be the simplest, I feel. So let's just put this down that we're going to take moments by putting M there about B. And as usual, when you take moments, we need to associate a positive sense. I'm going to associate going around clockwise as positive. It, again, it's up to you. You don't have to do that. You can have anti-clockwise. But I've taken positive because I just feel that, well, it's just going to be nice just taking these ones positive. Actually, there's no real reason why I look at it. Okay, so uh, up to you. Do experiment. I'm going to also draw, as I've mentioned before in many of my tutorials when we take moments, just going to draw a ruler here. A ruler so that you can use this just to guide you through the problem. And what we do is if we're taking moments about the point B, we'll, associate, we'll assume that this point here is the point B. And you just put your finger on the ruler at that point there, hold it down, okay, and then we're going to apply the various forces that you see here on the ruler and it will give you the sense that these forces would turn about B. Okay, so in other words, if we start with, say, this reaction here at C, if I push now on the ruler, say at this point here, to simulate that force, the ruler would want to turn in a clockwise sense about B. All right? So that's going to be a positive moment. So that moment is going to be the force, which we'll say is R, okay, multiplied by the distance from C back to B. Well, that's two meters there. So clearly, being 12 meters here, it's going to be a total distance of 10 meters. So it's going to be R times 10. So it's the force times the distance back to B. Let's take this reaction here. Again, if we were to simulate this on the ruler, we would push in that direction, okay? And the ruler would want to turn round B in a clockwise sense. So that's going to be positive as well. So it's going to be the force R multiplied by the distance from X back to B, which is clearly X, okay? So we've got Rx there. Now we'll take the weight of the man, okay? So the weight of the man acts downwards. So if you were pushing, say, in this direction to simulate the weight of the man, the ruler would want to turn around in an anti-clockwise sense around B, okay? It'd want to do that. So it's going to be in the negative sense. Then for the moment, it's going to be the force, its weight, 80G multiplied by the distance from P back to B. And that's going to be 8 meters because this distance is 4 meters. You've got 12 meters here, so that leaves us with 8 meters from P back to B. So that's 80G times 8. The last force we need to consider is the weight of the girder. Okay, So that too is going to be pushing in that direction. So it's going to want to turn in an anti-clockwise sense about B. So it's going to be negative. So it's the force, the weight there, 200 G multiplied by the distance from here back to B. Well, that's in the middle because it's a uniform girder. So that's going to be 6 meters. So it's 200 G times 6. So that's the total moment about the point B. And because the girder is in equilibrium, that total moment must be equal to zero. So it's just a question now of cleaning this up and solving for R. So if we do this, we've already established that R is 1,372. So if we multiply that by 10, we're therefore going to have 1,372 zero, okay, for that term there. When it comes to this one, we're just going to have plus 1372x. And if you work out these two terms, you'll find that you'll get 
minus 1840G, okay? And that will equal zero. So if we take G to be 9.8 and we add this term to both sides and subtract 13,720 from both sides, you'll find you therefore have this term 1372x equals 4,312. Okay, so that's taking g to be 9.8 there. So to get x, all I need to do is divide 4,312 by 1,372. And if you do that, you'll end up with 22 over 7. So our distance x then, 22 over 7 meters away from b. So I hope that's given you some idea then on doing that problem.